Hello and welcome to Jump Inside Gaming News, where we give you all the best bits of news in gaming in the past two weeks. Let's get started. My name's Seb and welcome. Before we begin, please stick around to the end of the video as I'll reveal one of my favourite quotes in video games history. Starting off, PlayStation Blog talks about the game settings, no big story spoilers here lie ahead in this article. And that's fine because there's tons to talk about in the terms of pure gameplay, visuals, inventable new enemies, locations and more. Without mentioning specific characters or moments, I will say this sequel doesn't wait too long to deliver memorable, unexpected moments with a diverse cast of mythological characters. Just that little small quote really brings me hope and joy for this game getting released. Knowing that there's an improvement all round, not just one segment like the story, there's so much in this game, so much to uncover and so much to dig around for. If you are getting this game, I think this is going to be out of the park, really smash hitting gameplay and it could potentially be game of the year. It's up there with Elden Ring and I can't wait to see its placement. Next on the list, if you've ever wanted to play The Sims 4 but not sure if the game is for you, well it's out now on Steam for free. The company CNET says, if you haven't jumped on The Sims 4 bandwagon yet, the perfect opportunity is here. Last month, publisher EA and developer Maxis announced that The Sims 4 base game will be permanently free to download for PC and Mac via the EA app. Origin or Steam as well as the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One systems. That's cool but here is the best bit coming up right now. If you haven't already brought The Sims 4 base game, you will receive a gift from EA. According to the company, EA Play and EA Play Pro members will receive an upgrade experience when members only bundles of The Sims 4 go on the playlist. Yes, it's a good all rounder. You get to play The Sims 4 free and then if you want to buy add-on packs after that, at least you get a taster of what the game is before you can expand the game, which is really good. I think that's how the sim should work from now on. Release a base game for free and then make the add-on packs cost money depending on what add-on types you want to make. The company's got to make money and design new parts of the game and this could be the best way to do it, especially if The Sims 5 may at this point be on the horizon. If The Sims 4 is for free, which is a good thing, then is The Sims 5 on its way? Anyway, I'm gonna move on to the next piece of news. You tell me your comments on what you think about this particular article down in the comments down below. Now time for one of my more serious bits of the news, Fallout London, according to IGN. Huge mod cut characters based on Queen Elizabeth and King Charles. They stated, we have always maintained that if she were to pass away before the mod got completed, we would change it, said Carter via The Verge. Do not expect them in there and there's no point asking in the comments. They continued that in the event of Her Majesty's death, our feature for her within the mod will be removed and any previously drawn up plans or artwork are now considered null and void. Yes, and all my respect goes out to the London team for doing that. Now moving on to the last bit. Finally, as it's Halloween coming up, I'm going to reveal one of my favourite quotes in video games before we get down to the videos that are based more focusedly on scary games. We work in the dark serve the light we are assassins we live in the dark to serve the light that is one of my favorite quotes in video games now it's time for you what is your favorite quotes in video games tell me in the comments down below and while you're down there if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one goodbye